Officer, we have had a doozy of a day. Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Ryan, and this is The Groom, and we just watched Tucker and Dale vs. Evil, which also is not the first time we've seen it, but we wanted to watch it for a review. So, if you have not seen this movie, please do. It opens with our two main characters, Tucker and Dale, who are some country boys who just got a vacation home, quote-unquote, which is a cabin up in the woods, which is a fixer-upper, so they stop at a little... General store, yeah, kind of, to like, get you some know. some supplies to fix it up. While they're driving to the general store, they happen to lock eyes with a car full of very judgmental, stereotypical college kids. D-bags. Who are completely creeped out, because, you know, they're doing the same thing I do in traffic, which is just leer at people out the window. And, uh... Yeah, it's awesome being the driver when yeah. she does that. Dale is kind of enamored with one of the girls he sees in the car. They happen to go to the same general store where the college kids are like, Oh, did you see those two guys? They're so creepy. Happen to be in the same store, have the same encounter. Dale gets a pep talk from Tucker to try to talk to one of the girls, Allison, while holding a scythe. He proceeds to walk over to her and take the advice he gives him. He's like, just, just smile, smile and, and laugh. laugh. So he walks over to them like a crazy person in this giant scythe and he's like hey you guys gonna go for the weekend <laughs> oh it was so bald yes. it was so cringy so, but it was so good Dale and Ugh. Tucker get to their cabin the college kids get to their campsite where they are told from I can't remember his name the, the lead douchebag about the Memorial Day massacre which occurred on this spot 20 years ago where a redneck went completely insane and just chopped everyone up except for his mother who survived and she was pregnant at the time did escape ended up in a psych ward forever they never found his father but this happened in this very area 20 years ago unfortunately as most things are there is a huge misunderstanding that tucker and dale are some kind of creepy inbred rednecks they are out night fishing where the college kids just happen to choose the same spot to go skinny dipping. Allison stands up on a pile of rocks, slips, hits her head, falls in the water. Dale ends up in the water and pulls her out. They're trying to let the kids know, hey, we have your friend in the hopes that so maybe they they'll come, you know, get her, take her to a hospital or whatever. And they misread the entire situation as they attacked her and are now dragging her body with them. Because he's like, hey, we got your friend. We got, we got, we your, got friend. your friend. Yeah. We got your friend. And they're like so, completely like, oh, no, and start running away. Oh, my God, away. Allison. So, oh, unfortunately... These college kids decide to take it upon themselves to try and save her, quote-unquote. Because there's no cell service. There's no cell service. There's they smart, huge stereotypes. They smartly did send one person away to go try to get the police. They're yeah. like, take the car, try to go get the police. I'll commend them for that. That was smart. So there is a series of misfortunate events that occur while uh, there's a burdening, maybe romantic relationship between Dale and Allison. As they're trying to fix up the cabin... You mean a budding, As, budding relationship? Budding, sure. Could be a burden. <laughs> yeah. All right. As they're trying <laughs> to fix up the cabin while these college kids are trying to kill them. We're going to leave it off here as it is spoiler free. What did you like about this movie? I don't even know where to start with this movie. It's so good. It's, I will tell you that the, the theme of shit does not look like what it seems is beautifully done in this movie all of the kills are not them doing it it's these college kids trying to kill them and something happens and they end up dying themselves not directly related to what tucker or dale are doing which is what makes it so funny like they're it's so great. It's ingeniously done. Yeah. The way they, the way the, the way the people die in this is done so smart. It's oh my god. The, and like the beam. Every time something happens, like the one kid goes to sneak up on Tucker 
while he's at a wood chipper throwing logs in and just ends up diving in and he's like grabbing his feet and he's just like ah and all that you can see from the kid's perspective is him being like oh like pushing him in it's so, and the it's thing jams so up and he goes are you okay like that just keeps happening every time someone is obviously not on this planet in a spiritual sense are you okay the the fact that the one person who could corroborate the fact that Dale and Tucker were not were not doing were not evil um he just keeps getting knocked out yeah just keeps getting just by complete accident and it's just oh my god it's so funny and their reactions to everything <laughs> are so pure Dale is like the nicest guy yeah. on earth don't kill my dog you kill my dog I'm gonna get really really mad oh my god it's just, it's just so good it's I love so it. funny that I'd, I'd have to say like I kind of threw in my likes as well but the, the effects are amazing they're so good the reactions to everything are hilarious like the asking like obviously just half a person are you okay so funny because you have to believe that they're in shock and they really have no idea why these kids are killing themselves around them. It's so, oh. And there is a twist at the end, so be prepared for that. <laughs> he thinks they're in a crazy suicide pact. Yeah. Crazy college <laughs> oh, kid suicide pact. It's, oh, it's good. Hey, this movie's great. Alright, what were your dislikes? Um... I didn't need the twist at the end no, I just felt like we could have done without it it was fine um, I thought it was a strange decision that they made the the head college kid asthmatic and like really like kept bringing it back to that like he's telling a campfire story and he takes a hit of his inhaler quick and he's like so 20 years ago and he it's like a, what he hit a joint and then hit the inhaler and then blew it all together uh -huh. and I was just like trying to open your lungs to get more THC in there? Like, I know is that people the that behind it? are asthmatic that will do that. Like with <sighs> cigarettes. I don't... Whatever. Um, the love story... I, I don't know. I could have done without it, but it was really cute. It was fine. I think it... I think that was perfect. Yeah. The... I like that Tucker kept pouring beer on everything. <laughs> There's a scene where he's ch like chainsawing through logs and chainsaws through a hornet's nest and he's running with the chainsaw still because he's getting stung by all these wasps and he looks <laughs> insane and he comes back and he just has all these welts on his face and he opens up the PBR and he's just pouring it all over and it's like, ew. I know people like that though, so that's accurate. Okay. Um, oh my god. What I didn't like about this movie is I honestly did not like the blonde female in the stripper shoes. I thought her character was completely useless. Well, they're all stereotypes. I mean, it's just, you didn't need it. And I hated her acting. Her her acting was ter terrible. I didn't like the college kids. You're not supposed acting. to No, no, like no. I, I didn't like their, I didn't like their acting. I think they, I think that could have been done better. They were a little one-dimensional. Yeah, it was, their, their acting was just piss poor. And it's, it's a shame too, because the, the, the actors that played Dale and Tucker are amazing. They're very good actors. I actually watched a show with the guy who plays Dale, uh, called Reapers years and years and years ago. He was great in that too. Um, and I watched a show with the guy that played Tucker called Firefly. Everybody watched that show. We love that show. You know, so, I mean, it was just, it seemed weird that you such uh, such strong actors for Dale and Tucker, and you, none of the, even the actor that played the female that was, like, on their side, quote-unquote, the weird mediation thing, I thought that was weird. Well, that's because that uh, that's what she's going to yeah, school for. Yeah, I know. For. It was just, I didn't need it. She tried it. But it anyways, was, I don't know. It was just like you know, I don't know. I, the, the, I think the acting outside of the two main characters was poor. But that's really the only thing I did. I didn't like about this movie. I think everything else was solid. Just the way everything kept happening, the way everybody died, and how it was never really Dale or Tucker's fault was done so well. Yeah. And that's what really pulled my favoritism towards this movie. So, what do you rate it? I would rate this. Probably like a four out of five. 
I really, really enjoy this movie. I love this movie. I don't even know how many times I've seen it so far. It's always a good time. Like, I've seen it three times. Now. Always puts a smile on my face. What would you rate it? Uh, I, I would also give it a four out of five. It's not like there are some flaws with it. There are some things that it's I would like. It's not the perfect movie. Yeah, it's not the perfect movie, but it's exactly what you think it's going to be. And it's like, also perfect for your friends or family that aren't super into horror movies, but you want to watch a movie with them and all you have is horror. Yeah, I mean, it's. I think it's a really good segue piece to somebody. Like, I don't know if I'm going to like horror. Like, we'll watch this, Scout's Guide, uh, Shaun of the Dead. Kind of really funny, really funny movies have a little bit of gore in them. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, that, that's, uh, yeah, I'd probably also go to four out of five. I just think this is... And this movie is what it is. So, have you guys seen this movie? What are your thoughts? Leave us some comments down below. Do you have any other funny horror movies that we haven't mentioned that you think we would enjoy? Also, leave us some comments down below. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. I'd love to have you. Please don't forget to like the video if you did like the video, or you could like the video if you like Firefly. Leave us a comment, as I said. Hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. You can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. You can find my solo, as well as Reviews with the Groom, on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. Please check out all of their creators and awesome content as well. You can find me on Twitter at Repeat Groom Ray. You can also find me on Twitch at Repeat Reanimator, where me and my dumb friends make dumb videos on the dumb internet, playing dumb games, because we're dumb. All right. Oh, oh my so. God, you hate pancakes. <laughs> oh my God, it's the pancakes. It's the pancakes. Tucker and Dale vs. Evil have given us so many great one-liners that yes. we can use later. See you later, guys. See ya.